Their singing resonates unity and dignity of labor. These women have actively contributed in uplifting their individual families. Cassava processing is their only means of livelihood. They are the women at the cassava processing shades in Ilaro town, Ogun state. From sunrise to sunset, they converge here to process cassava tubers into bagged fufu flowers, transport and sell them on market days to feed and train their children. Afola Bissera is a student of a tertiary institution in Nigeria. She and her siblings got their education from proceeds accruing from their mother's cassava processing business. Today, she volunteered to walk us through the journey of fufu flour processing. At sunrise, freshly harvested cassava tubers are brought from farms and transported in peculiar farm trucks into the processing shed. On arrival, all hands are on deck to offload the cassava tubers. Thereafter, women and children form clusters to quickly peel the cassava tubers. In short, from when they bring the cassava from farm, we use our knife to remove the, his body to be in white clay. So we put it in our clay and we put, remove, uh, put water from rivers to put inside it. When they are done, the cassava tubers are washed and soaked in water for three days for fermentation to take place. This process allows the cassava to be soft and mushy. After three days, the cassava is removed from the fermentation clay tanks, washed carefully and filtered into the clean bowl of water. It depends on how the sun shines. So about three or four days, it will be done. And we'll be starting to remove it in it with our small bucket, baskets from it. So we'll be using our hands to squeeze it together. And we'll be putting it inside one big basket. After filtering, the fibrous residue is thrown away or fed to goats, while the filtrate is bagged as fufu in two different sizes and transported to market for sale. Rural women make essential contributions to the rural economy of all developing countries. Ensuring their empowerment is key not only to the well-being of individuals, families and rural communities, but also to the overall economy of a country. Let's empower our women. <laughs>